I need to go back to Stuart McLean. Yeah. Um, because, you know, we talked about Mike McDonald, Grey Loss. Stuart McLean, uh, just, I listen to a lot of CBC Radio 1. Uh, Stuart McLean just has that folksy charm, I want to call it. Oh, I said to Morley, what are we doing? Why are we doing this? Morley. I remember when I went to see him in Brantford. I think it's the Rose Theater. And we'd already agreed we were going to do this Christmas show. And we were going to shoot it in Belleville uh, at a theater there, the Empire Theater. And I, I thought, I better go see one of his shows. And it was a blizzard. A blizzard. The place was packed. People didn't care that they were actually endangering their life to get to see Stuart. It was like religion. And he had such a heartfelt thing going. And I'd known him for years. Like, we stayed friends all the way through when I came back from Winnipeg. And he seriously quirky man uh, and really gifted storyteller. And he just devoted himself to that. It was like being a minstrel. They were on the road for months at a time. We did the Christmas special. Um, and he had a sardonic sense of humor. He had a wicked little sense of humor. So it had nothing to do with... I said to him at one point, you know, this town you've made up, these people, they're just so idyllic. He goes, well, there's nothing wrong with dreaming. And he was a lovely man, and it broke my heart when he got sick. And, uh, you know, when he, when he died, it was just one of those mornings where you turn on the radio and... Stuart McLean has passed away, and you're just like, oh, yeah, he's a lovely man. Oh, well, you said it's a storytelling, right? Tell me a story, and yeah. Stuart was was tremendous at that. So yeah. he's def- definitely, definitely missed. But but he left behind a, a beautiful legacy, right? Like, I mean, all you can really do is try to be useful, right? And he's he's useful. He helps people to get through life. 